Hello, darling. Hello. Well, nice to see you made an effort getting dressed up for tonight. <laughs> oh, well, Ashley, I'm going to do that now. So, very good health to you. Thank you for joining us. I think that's mine and Dick's. Okay, that's it. Okay. Slightly different setup because we are in our suite, in the strawberry suite, and it's very that's comfortable. Lovely. Hold on. That's lovely. Good health. There you go. And we do like a pull. Mm. Our suite in here has kind of evolved over time, hasn't it? Because when we initially did it, the kids were sort of, you know, in cots and... Um, <laughs> now there's a cocktail cabinet. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Well, well, we've kind of... Do you know what? We just don't have enough storage, do we, in here? It's really weird. It's such a big room, but... Uh, we're going to be addressing that this year. You're going to make we me... We are going to be addressing that this year. But today, we're doing something... Well, number one, that... Show me everything because this this is this is this is quite interesting for me because this is your tools. It's like being in your workshop. <laughs> yeah, we have a little fridge in the fireplace. That's uh, to get the milk out because the kids come and have breakfast here in the morning. And this is my area. I have claimed the the fireplace. However, Look, I... uh, by the way, I am here just so you know. So it's not just a moving camera. Hello. But this year, I think is going to be the year where I get a proper dressing table. You've been. Sort of like, you, you've been telling me that I need a proper dressing table for a long time but you know I kind of just end up just with a makeup bag running from place to place and that's and, and this how was where you do all your makeup this is where you get is. yourself ready it is as exactly so first of all this is this is me da -da, no makeup no hair done natural um, hair color natural hair color of course darling um mm. you know no different uh my hair is completely over processed <laughs> and um, and in not great condition and I have to say for a vintage look it's really easy to do your hair and victory rolls you know when I used to do the vintage participate doing sort of gorgeous ladies with really lovely very healthy hair it was always a little bit more slidey so you know I, I know I know what my hair is and also the other thing I was going to say to you is that I am I'm not an expert in this area but I am an expert for what works for me you know what I mean and lots of people oh, ask can, can, come back a little bit you have done so many hairs you've done a lot of hairs and we have, have been and we've got professional hairdresser doers have come in yeah and you've had to show them how to get your hair to work that, that is true um, I mean I can count on my on my hands how many times I've had my hair done sort of professionally and it was our wedding Amanda from lipstick lipstick and curls um yeah. dragon's den a couple of photo shoots and you know a, a few other times but for the majority i've always done my hair when we was on tour you know um there was just no point because uh, it's much easier and quicker because i know my hair that that's the bottom line so you know yeah. it, it is when 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 you do when you try different styles you never quite get it right the first time but practice really is um, amazing and I mean I don't know if she's still running them obviously because it's been um, a while but we used to run vintage hair academies um, at the vintage patisserie and it was really fascinating by the end of a day everybody could do a victory roll a set and put an eyeliner on without a doubt i could probably do that darling i've been watching you for years, and years, and years. <laughs> so okay that's so another so, test we could do that maybe, maybe let me do your hair today oh that would be brilliant or well, dorothy does yours oh i love having i don't like having my hair down and long because um so i just always just put it back with um with a little grip and my oh, this is gonna come back with what exactly you're gonna do your hair but you're also gonna go for the you're gonna go for full war paint aren't you no i'm gonna do hair and makeup as is all right that's and i and also over over the years um I always get asked similar questions, you know, what, um, and I don't think I've got the best skin at all because I've got ro quite rosy skin, but actually I know that by the time I put my makeup on, it all comes together quite well. So my- I'm face, zooming in on your face, darling. Oh, my face cream that I've used for the last, I would say 10 years is LMS Pro Collagen. It, you know, I mean, <laughs> when it's not cheap, um, 
but I used to buy it for like out my birthday money, out my Christmas money, and it was always something that I thought was just worth it to me. Always made my skin feel really nice. So I used that. You did that try and put and some of that on me once because you thought my skin would oh, benefit yeah, from I, it. I bought you some guy stuff, and you just were very stubborn and didn't use it. That was. Um... And then once I do that, so I do that morning and night. Um, I do have a night one and a neck one as well. Um, I don't think the neck one does. I do um, Estee Lauder. The neck one does what? Does much. <laughs> so. Well, you're not looking bad for 56. <laughs> He's joking. I'm 43. I am 43, aren't I? You'd never remember I that. I can't. Ever, Dang, honestly, it doesn't, I just it doesn't don't know. bother me in this so I use Estee Lauder. So, what is it? Perfectionist. And I love this because it just, in fact, this is where I'm going to start today because right now I have my hair as is and um, I'm going to start with my makeup. So my Estee Lauder Perfectionist Cream. You start with makeup? Yeah. Yeah, I start I with makeup. Right. I should know that, shouldn't I? So. Um, for any other blokes that are out there, um, at this stage of our going out, I'm watching the telly in my uh, work clothes because... Um, it takes me a lot less time to get ready than you doesn't it, really. Oh. Yeah, although I'm pretty, I am pretty quick actually. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you better be because the clock's ticking. I'm going to cut off when we get to the end of our time. Right. The <laughs> makes my perfectionist makes my skin feel silky, um, especially if I've kind of buffed it up a little bit, and it's obviously quite shiny at this point. Now, foundation, I have gone through many foundations in my in my lifetime um but mac i swear by it face and body i like it because it makes you feel like you don't have like really heavy makeup on and obviously i put powder on to kind of set it afterwards i don't use sponges a lot of people you know will i didn't know you you put powder to set it and you, and you put powder on this is like some sort of a concrete okay. thing going on so here. So what, what's great about this, it's very, very, um, it's very watery, yeah, um, and you buy it to suit your tone. Like I have very red tones in my skin, so I would use kind of like a cool tone. Um, and you know, a lot of people with gorgeous olive skins would use like olive tones, but they have a whole spectrum there. And when you go into a store, you know, you just, um, uh, you basically, Essentially, just get them to colour match you, um, and you may, you know, go for a tiny little bit lighter. I always like because I like the vintage look. I go for a shade lighter, but most people will colour match. And when I was living in London, I used to do my makeup on the train, and I can pretty much do it without um, even looking in a mirror. <laughs> so um, now, what's great about this is that you put it, you can put it on. It's like it feels like a foundation going on. But the trick with the Mac face and body is you can put it on your body there's the um there's a hint so i, didn't I, I know always that. put it on um at my neck because i want it to sort of feel uniform you know on the creases um and um the more you rub it i'm going to show you in a minute if you heat it up it gets a little bit thicker so you, so you know like often around here around here you want that little bit of extra coverage um that's where that's what you do for it so i'm just going to do a first quick layer now, I don't shade or do anything that a lot of people do. I put it on with my hands. A lot of people use sponges, but I think with MAC makeup. I know. actually know what you mean by shading, by the way, when you finish it off. But I'll tell a story when I went to see Terry Wogan. I was on a oh, Terry Wogan oh, show. And there was a lady um, who was one of the presenters who was actually in a chair getting her um, makeup oh, done. Oh, yeah. It can and be I, scary. I, I walked in and she had the shading on. And I thought she looked like the undead. It scared the bejesus out it, of me. It is. It, it, I'd never seen... And, but I know what shading is now from having been you scared are. at Terry so, Wogan show. So if anyone doesn't know shading, but I'm sure um, that a lot of Things people zombie. do, it, it, it creates contours um, and shading um, to give you cheekbones and they often put it around the jawline um, so you get a nice... Move the mirror out of the way. Okay. That's a nice mirror. Yeah, well, <laughs> Dorothy has my vintage set in her room and I seem to have got Dorothy's mirror. <laughs> In fact, I look at my brushes. Dorothy's got like my expensive matte brushes. I've got a couple left, but he, you know, she loves a bit of makeup. So you've got a little spot there. Okay, all right. So that was, this is me with a very quick one on. However, I want to be a bit heavier because I've personally got just sort of like a little bit red here and here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to 
get myself some on I'll show you what I mean here so you put it on your your hand yeah and then you oh okay so as you, and the, and you just you do that and, and then it becomes it becomes thicker you get sort of like a, the heat from your fingers so it goes very, from very wet to that feels really nice and thick now so I'm, so you mix it up ready for the set yeah as you uh, it just gives you that little bit I just want to do this in the mirror I'm coming in I'm coming in don't move don't move I've got you I've got you in the mirror look at that this is camera work a la dick camera work a la dick that what means I'm, I'm doing feeling like a dick sorry that's is that. I am I'm sort of rubbing it up on my face and just really patting it in and you can see now that my sort of I'm a bit it's a bit sort of smoother so you've hidden any rosy cheeks is that right? Yeah, I feel like my razor cheeks just give me a little bit more of a sm smooth look. So this yeah. is a this is a stage where you don't see girls. I remember knowing that we were completely at ease with one another when I convinced you you didn't have to wear makeup when I was around because you're so beautiful anyway. Oh. But do you remember because you used to always get to makeup when I saw you. You'd always be dressed up, dressed yeah. up. But the, when we started going and you were, weren't worried about that, I knew <laughs> we were relaxed. Yeah, it's very true. But it's also quite nice. I remember actually going out for the first time without makeup with you that was a whole sort of new experience as well I guess because I've, I've sort of plucked my eyebrows to within an inch of their life sort of since I can remember so I've I've purposely wanted to have that kind of really thin pencil look because I hate the vintage look um but it does mean that when I don't have any makeup on my, I do feel very sort of you know exposed but I'm actually really comfortable with that now like I have been for a long time so you, you know it's nice it feels liberating actually not any there makeup. you go I liberated her you liberated me by loving her it doesn't matter what she looks like yeah it's a quite a, a good what I like about this makeup is that you don't get the heaviness of a lot of foundations so and yeah you can make it as I say a little bit thicker so let me just see where else I need it a little bit more on the chin <coughs> Excuse me, a frog there. I saw the Frenchman. Okay, so I'm not really a miles away. Now I have a um, okay, so that's my Mac for anyone who wants to know. It's an N1. And honestly, it's just the best thing since sliced bread. And I have no, <laughs> I have no, um, what's the word? Uh, Reservations? No. Um, we have no sponsorship from anyone. We just buy what's right. So now I've, I bought this a couple of years ago. Just this <laughs> you might have somebody sponsoring me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Do you remember the sponsorship you did get offered? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, no, you mentioned it. Tell it. Dick, Dick got offered um, to have, Full head of hair, free, free, hair. and it was worth what did they say, twenty five grand. And I thought, I couldn't believe you turned it down. He said, "Thank you, but no, thank you." Um, I'm just putting on a luster. It's the same body paint, but it's just gives me that little bit of shimmer on my eyes. Again, mm -hmm. I'm not even really looking, just doing it. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Or pay particular attention to creases, and then I'm going to use. Yeah, you've guessed it, but. <laughs> Mac Prep and Prime. Now, what Prep and Prime? Yeah. So this, what this does for me is it sets well, sets my face. Um, it's powder. It's powder. Yeah. But as I open it up, you'll see it's not any. It's completely. It's pe completely clear, translucent. Um, but I love it because it is so fine um, that again I don't feel like a. Um, you know, I've got lots of uh, makeup on. Now, and I do actually see how fine it is. Don't come to me, I'll come to you. Okay. I have to keep chasing you up. It is, okay, mm -hmm. I can't really yeah, see Yeah, but you, can you see I've given up, up a bit in the air. Oh, I can uh, see that. Yeah, that's ah, it. I need a slider, I need backlight, I need uh, my different lenses. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep filming like this, don't I? Okay. So at the moment. Are you looking in the mirror? Sounds just, are you looking in the mirror to do it? Keep going so I can, I'll find you. Don't move around from me because otherwise I'll miss you. Think of Keith Floyd directing his um, cameraman into the pot to look. Yeah, 
But um, you know, I when I've had my makeup done, sort of professionally, a handful of times I've let anyone free on my face. They always set at the end, but I I can't because when I do my eyes and chop little little bits of the um, eye. Um, um, eyeshadow and it kind of gets stuck in so I do I do do another set at the end um, as well but I find that if I kind of have drop anything on my lips are always very important if I drop anything on my face um, it just is easier to brush off so. and um, for all the chaps watching yes this is a complete mystery to me too I've seen it happen lots but I didn't actually know what was going on I thought it was best to hide by the way, at this stage of us getting ready, I'm still downstairs in my work clothes, checking the news or um, just puttering around the place. And if we've got the kids here, yeah, Dorothy. Dorothy being here with you, and Arthur would be with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's stereo, oops, <laughs> stereotyping, but true. I will come back to that, and I also use as a final one. She's a little bit thicker, called a Mac again, but Studio Fix, love it. And it is, it's actually a foundation. You see, this is a well used one. Um, and of course you, um, it's come off now, it's so well used. But it is a foundation and a powder, and often just before that, it's a finishing touch, I'll put that on. But I'll come is that back how you that. take the shine off your nose? Is that the one you use? No, uh, okay. setting and shine is this. This is just this little bit of extra coverage at the end, and sometimes you just put it around there. But it's just good because everyone's got different skin, haven't they? And some people need that extra little bit of coverage. So makeup artists have always used um, uh, Studio Fix. It How long those last you in our life? If you, you do a not, year easily, even with having makeup quite a lot for filming yeah. and doing stuff. Yeah, then, that, yeah. That's a year. De definitely, definitely. So mm. right, okay, gonna put that back in there. So okay, next, and this has changed a little bit over. I, I sort of my eyeshadow, I changed quite regularly because um of what is available, and I've always used Benefit for eyeshadow, believe it or not, because. What? Benefit. Now they started years ago, um, and you, you just could see it in, in boots. I had a few sort of pop-up stores. Um, this was the first Benefit product I ever bought, and it was just one of those vintage eyes, everything all in. Um, that was my favourite colour, and obviously you can't see it now because it's gone. It's empty. Um, and, and they've stopped doing it. I mean, what is it with with companies when there is a successful product and they just stop doing it? It does my head in. And I've never been able to find something that is as good as this as well, which is very annoying. But I still use it because I, I use the other two and I use that for my eyebrows, okay. So um, it's a benefit, but right now, because um, we haven't really been to England shopping for a little bit, I'm using this one, which is also a benefit. <laughs> what do you mean no she hasn't but no so i'm using this i like a little pink sh highlighter shade on mine um i sometimes do my eyebrows in that but you know basically it's just a vintage kind of eye and this is a face highlighter but right now i'm actually just sort of putting that as a bit of a base over like really i'm coming into the mirror find your position to move i'll find you i'll look at this so I'm just all do, all I'm doing is just giving myself a little bit of a highlighter all over. Okay. Then is that, it? is that it? Oh yeah, I mean there's a couple oh. of, of stages. Um, so because I've got to put my my um, so this is one of my Mac brushes that I've man managed to maintain. <laughs> so um, in fact I can give myself a little bit. So I'm using the pink now. And I'm going to just go over my socket. Over your socket. Yeah, I'm going over my socket and I'm going to actually just... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Um, I normally do bring it up, but I haven't got a lot of of it left. I need to get some more. Okay. If I look like I'm a bit wavy, it's because I'm drinking my port while I'm doing this because uh, I like to multitask. Angela hasn't drunk much of her port because she can't multitask. You are, you're talking and doing your makeup, that's good. Well, that's, I think that's pretty good for multitasking. For me. Okay. Right, then I'm Done. going to. No, I'm still going to. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on eyes now, by the way. So, oh, yeah, I get that. Um, I, I, I knew that. Yeah. So, what I'm using is um, just a shade, a shade um, darker. 
and you know I think eyeshadow is something you just can have so much fun with that's the thing um I end up being classic and it's not because I am not adventurous um it's just because I know what works for me um and every time I try something adventurous like a bright green eyeliner or you know sparkly eyelashes I um don't like it so <laughs> Bright green, okay. I think you can that so, in mind. so what I like to do is I want, I want to just highlight a little bit, um, and I take it up to my socket and give myself a little bit of a shape, not a lot, but it just is nice to come into the socket. Okay, I'm coming in a bit closer. Have a look at this socket. Mm -hmm. okay, there we go. Done. Makeup to hair, what's your sort of ratio of time? Do you think equal amounts or what? Yeah, I mean, I can do. This what I'm doing now, as I'm talking to you, I am normally, I'm normally sort of 15 minutes for that and about half an hour for hair. Well, I don't know, it might be, I can do both quicker <laughs> and I can do both longer. Going to, now I'm going to do my eyeliner, but it's a weird time. Things that I've managed to always get my whole life, I, I can't. Now this is my choice eyeliner, artist makeup. Oh, honestly, I've used millions of eyeliners in my time. Without a doubt, this is the best. I cannot get a refill. I'm trying all the time. I have already used my refill because I always have one spare. Um, this is what I'm using. So um, I am going to do one that is the copy of it. Um, and you can buy these everywhere. I'm going to do. Um, okay, that one. But basically, it's a pen. Oh, it looks like one of those, one of those temple, what are the pens that these Stilo temples are the ones with the filthy tops? Yeah. And I just go up and I... So I can't see past your fingers there, don't, I? don't worry, you can't see because it'd be yeah. smart that. That could be terrible, wouldn't it? Eyeliner. Would it be better if I did that? And you can do that with the other one if you can. You can do that with the other one, I'll catch the yeah. other one. Oh yeah, no, I'm... You I'm go that, I'll zoom in and find your other one. So we can watch the action and all that, although I'm coming in now, oops. This is a sort of a one take here, that's why you're getting the sort of moving around between shots, but what you have to do is you have to paint the top of your eye with a line. Okay, you do. Do you do the bottom as well or just the top? Uh, I only do the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually do need to do it with a mirror okay, because no, close, mirror, eh? I can't, can't see. But. I always start in. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm coming over to find you. The thing is. Is that what you stick your eyelashes onto? Yeah. I'll never let that ride. Hmm? I thought I'd watch you enough times to sort of understand what to do, but. I'm okay. So I just, you know, I don't, I don't create a big, um, um, sort of tick, um. A big swoosh. Mine is actually very just gentle. Just suits me. Now, this is me just kind of, kind of going back and forth because ordinarily I would just use this. But thing is, you always start on the inside and and you come out and and then you then you just try and make sure that they're even. <laughs> so and that sounds you know e easier said than done because in we've all got our faces are different on our, on either side. But I've always got my Sort of cotton wool buds because um there is often an accident you know and that's fine so especially if you're rushing so and to be honest, a little here because that's there's always there's always this little bit that you have to be careful of between when you put your eyeliner on that and where your eyelashes are you can never quite get in 
just take the extra time to make sure that it's covered because if you do put your, your lashes on or you know you don't want a white a white line so I just sort of make sure I'm quite heavy with my uh, On the telly, when we're doing it, you're seen in lots of different states of makeup, no makeup, and everything now. Yeah, mm. that's not what you could have done when we first started doing this. Probably, you, you, you felt you felt that you had to be dressed mm. all the time, didn't you? Yeah. Whereas now people know you're real. Yeah, well, definitely, definitely real. Mm -hmm. so, and um, no, you're you're right. I think um, I think I've definitely become sort of more more confident I think just to, to not I, I think children help with that a little bit as well because you don't have the same time wipe your hand so and a loving husband but just to just to show you can you see that that is that is what the my artist my liner of choice would be okay it's a fine point yeah point four <laughs> Indulgent. Okay. Right. Not indelible, sorry, Georgie. I'm going to go over that um, at the at the end. Now, let's talk lashes for a second. I've got lashes and eyebrows, lipstick and blusher still to go, and then and then my hair. So, depending on my... 25 minutes in. Okay, thanks, Mr. Shortfish. Depending on my mood and what we are doing, um, I've got two choices of, of lashes. You know, I just buy these sort of kind of cheap and cheerful um, lashes. In the daytime, I would definitely wear these, which is great. And in the evening, I'd put on my party lashes when I want something a little bit heavier. So, what what should we do? I um, think I'll do I'll, I'll do the evening one because of each. no, definitely not one of each. Um, I do the Joking. same. I do definitely do the um, the same process. So, or I don't know actually, those ones are quite heavy and nice. But these ones. Put the light ones on. It's still daylight. Okay. Yeah. These ones are fabulous. However, I think for most people that haven't worn lashes, they would be very scary because they are very he he heavy. However, if you're doing anything where you're having your photos taken, um, i.e. your wedding or you know your wedding or someone else's, go for these. They are a game changer in terms of photographs. So you know. Yes, but there's only and all that. Huh? Okay. <laughs> But start start with these ones if you are first time using them. Now there's also a bit of a, an argument because a lot of people put on like their lashes sort of individually, which is quite nice. Um, now you can get them sort of semi permanent as well, which is also quite nice. Uh, but I just like the strips. I'm sort of quite old fashioned um, where that is concerned. So these are these are my strips, and I think I am going to which one looks the nicest. I'm. A little bit, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for this one, okay? So I'm going to take it here and just pull it off, okay? There we go, one, and then. So I, I have found eyelashes in the corner of that. <laughs> Do that just to draw many times. Enough. Oh no, they didn't mean that to be like that. <laughs> but, but I have actually, um, this is quite funny though. Uh, I do remember coming coming home one day. One of the girls at the vintage patisserie was like, had had the eyelashes like 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 your moustache, quite sweet. Mm. So now, eyelashes have to be a certain length because obviously people's eyes are different sizes. I've got really tiny eyes, so I, you know, don't be scared to kind of cut them to shape. So take a little, just that little bit off the end there because it, it can be. And I'm going to cut it to because I know it's just just trial and error. Um, I'm going to cut myself. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe. You haven't trimmed it. You haven't trimmed a bit off. You've taken a big lump out of it, haven't you? Yeah. So that is going to be my lash. Now you see that? That's quite small, isn't it? Okay. Really. Okay. Now I'm going to just do the same on the other one. And it really does, you, oh, having long eyelashes, they can make your eyes 
So when it goes on, if you imagine, it kind of goes like that, then it makes your eyes look really kind of droopy and not very nice. So, right, here we go. Get that the same. We'll do a quick double check to make sure that I've got my, my lashes are about the same. That's good. Yep. Good as a hair that so let's get rid of that one. Now, eyelash glue. Your eyelashes always come with a glue. Just chuck it away. And if you are planning to use them on a regular basis, get yourself a duo. Yeah. Oh, honestly, last year, a year. Not very expensive, 12, 13 quid off the internet. It's just the best eyelash glue in the world. And at night time you just peel it off. And and if it doesn't peel off in one go, because you've done a really, really good job, just wet it a little bit and then it will peel off. Okay. So are you gonna come to find me? All I'm doing just there we go. Lovely. Getting that, and then I'm gonna just let that kind of sort of I guess cure for a second. Yeah. Do the other one. That needs to get sort of quite tacky. Now the duo does sort of like these instant ones, which are good, but I just like to have that tiny little bit of flexibility to manipulate it onto my eye. So it's a duo, very, very good. Again, do not have shares in there. And while that is doing that, I'm going to do a first pass of my eyebrows because right now I look really weird because I don't have any eyebrows. Now, Mac, the now reason, only reason Dorothy's not stolen this is because she doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> she doesn't do eyebrows. Of course, you need an angled brush to do your eyebrows, otherwise you can't do them very well. And I this is just because it's me if i was a makeup artist i'd have a, a, a damp kind of um, sponge there but it needs to just be a little bit wet and then i just and what's great Come down, give yourself that little bit of an arch. I don't have the same issues with my eyebrows, do I? Yeah, you, all your issues are in just long hair. I like to do this in the mirror now just because I want to kind of match them up as best I can. But you know, the bottom line is that no one has eyebrows that are the same sort of shape. Yeah, but if there's a mono, nobody knows. Yeah. He's got one eyebrow, it's much easier all the way across. seconds to cure but I find that by the time I've done a first pass of my eyebrows I have got myself cured for my eyelashes by the way at this stage I'm still downstairs but I'm thinking about coming up and telling and seeing what Angela's state of readiness is so I can start timing to see when I have to start getting changed to have a shower and I would say oh darling I'm about 20 minutes off Mm. But you say that but come up before you start as well. <laughs> it's, it's the standard answer. Oh, there's a smudge being checked out there. No, I'm just sort of getting them a little bit more uh. even steven. Right, I'm going to come back and do sort of my second pass on that. But for a second, I just want to get my eyelashes so hold on in. Second, gonna, let, me, let, me, mm -hmm. let me have a look at your eyelashes. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need to come see, get, see where they are. Hold on. I think you've got those shots. Yeah. Right. So what I like to do is I like to bend it a little bit because obviously your eyes are a little bit bendy when they come. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, just these little sort of tricks mm -hmm. that work for me. Might yeah. not work for you. Might have a completely straight eye. 
I'm going to watch this video back and actually borrow your kit and have a go. Okay. Well, darling, it's always about giving it a go. But then. Alright. And that's, you just said that on the top there, and, and it's. Yeah. Because it's tacky, you don't have to. It sort of holds itself. Yeah. I can imagine if it was wet, it could slide. Yeah, well, oh, Dick, you see, you do. You actually do completely get the principle of that, don't you? And you see, I actually sort of cut loads off my eyelash there. So you can see, it suits I'm going to come up for close-up to your eyes when you get the second one on. Okay. Because uh, so I'm going to do my bending again. Or we're going to let you do your, your eyeliner mm. black on it, then come up for close-up to see them. Yeah. See? When you're talking to brides, you do tell them to go for the lashes. If, even if, yeah, because yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have had a couple of people that have not wanted to and I have been a little bit bossy and said trust me on this one it is a game changer you know right we've got to get that first one in and interestingly you don't want to get straight to like there that's not where your eyelash starts and also it can be very uncomfortable you know so right there we go. there's a bunch of blokes who've managed to stay with us for all this first bit they're oh, going, I can't imagine. Going, imagine sticking that on your eyeball or your eyelid, even or whatever. I can't imagine anyone. If you're not interested in this subject area, right? I'm going to have a quick glance at it. Oh no, this next one's going to be squiffy. Ah. Quite nice, isn't it? Oh, that is lovely, Paul. Cheers! If you're still with us, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Especially <laughs> all the blokes. Go and have another drink, <laughs> chaps. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What I have to do now is just wait until they are completely sort of dried into place. And with that duo, you get a little bit of whiteness, but it but it disappears. Mm -hmm. And while I'm doing that, I will get my uh, get my eyebrows finished. So angle brush and what what you can have a bit of fun with your eyebrows i mean the girls that used to work for me at the vintage patisserie they would do you know really different colored eyebrows i loved it sort of pinks and sandra rose has pink eyebrows she sticks them on with dots sometimes i do love that i always end up being classic so for me See my eyes sort of coming together now. <laughs> that just means your boss eye, but that's another story. Your eyes can and you also feel like you can go a bit stronger. As soon as you get your eyelashes on, you know, it's all about sort of proportion and balance, but you do feel that you can be a little bit stronger in your eyelash, um, sorry, in your eyebrow. Because if you have a strong eyebrow and you don't have your lashes on, it does feel really uncomfortable like to look at. Always try and end that bit of bit of a point. Mm, and what point the end? Are we end the right, yeah, right the here, and this is why that that's what's really good for the point brush. But anyone, any artist would know that as well. You know, getting that the angled brush. So all I want to do quickly here is just because you always get a little bit there and. Highlighters, I mean, you know, they're everywhere now, but this is the, the little highlighter here. What's, what's highlighter mean? It, it's sort of like something that's really shiny and reflects off light. Because what I want to do is I'm just going to highlight underneath my, my eyebrow. Okay. Underneath, okay? Mm hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple more, couple more stages and. Um, Find my right bits. Right. What I like to do is that I've got my sort of very fine eyelashes underneath. I don't put mascara on underneath. Some people kind of do mascara and then put it on top, but I actually find having a really fine lash on top of the um, on top of your sort of faux eyelash really good because it kind of just melds into it much easier. So I just get a mascara brush and I'm brushing in my natural eyelash into my faux eyelash. I really hope there's no one out there, I can't imagine that there ever is, that is saying, 
oh I think I really like it and I always remember Amy Winehouse being on never mind the buzzcocks and someone went to her I think it was Mark said is that your real hair and she went yeah I paid for it <laughs> <laughs> I loved that Right, so I'm just brushing in my fake eyelashes in my real eyelashes, my real eyelashes into my fake eyelashes. Okay, I'm going to just use my fingers and I'm going to just press it in. Squeeze it in tight. Yeah, that's it. Be a bit more delicate around there and there. Get the join correct. There we go. Okay, and then my last little bit on here is with this. Okay, and I'm just going to do a final sweep over the join of the lash and Gorgeous, don't you? It looks like an awful lot of work, but it's gorgeous. But somebody it, invented them. Yeah, I know. Well, that's quite incredible. What's interesting is that it's not a lot of work when I'm not talking to you about it. I can get my face done, as you know. Oh, you can do. Yes. Very, very, very. Good. At this stage, I'm coming upstairs and being yeah. downstairs and saying, "How are you going to be, darling? You haven't done your hair yet." And you're going to go, "Well, it'll only take me 15 minutes." I'll wake up in the shower. Yeah, you would. Exactly what you would do now, isn't it? <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, put that there. Sort of, my eyes are nearly sort of virtually done, so that's great. We'll come back to make sure there's no issues there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you haven't done your lip yet. That goes on the end, doesn't it? No, but my point, my point is, you're almost at the stage now because you're going to take your pretty lippy on. Oh, seconds. Yeah. If you put your lippy on, you could throw a berry on now, and that would be you. Well, that would be me exactly. So, but I think um, what I'll do is I'm going to get myself to that stage this is a little bit of fixing that I like to have I like to always put a little bit there in the T area which is obviously as most and well boys and girls know that is your area mm -mm, that always gets a bit more shiny I heard you laugh then mm? boys and girls know that that's when you get shiny yeah what no they do my they first television was Scrap Heap Challenge which mm -hmm. was I, I was shiny because I was covering oil and sweat so it's not sort of a, not been something that I've ever worried about. Prep and fine. Mm. What's that? That is um, like that you put under lipstick and it keeps your lipstick in place. It kind of bonds it to mm. your lips. Because a lot of people say, how do you keep on lipstick all day? Well, I use that and then I use this cherry. Um, oh, Ruby Woo. Oh, I've got a cherry one as well. Hang on. I use a mixture between Ruby Woo and cherry. I didn't know you put on a, a primer. I didn't know you put on a primer. Yeah. And, and, that, and that, on that note with it. Here. See, this is where I, it's been a whole new lesson for me since kissing you. Um, when you, you know, it, you have to be very careful because I go in for a quick snuggle and then leave your face looking like you've sort of, uh, you've been naughty. Don't make me laugh. It's so true, though. Yeah. I like to use a uh, a lip uh, a lip liner on the whole of my lip, on the whole of my lip. With this lip liner you do? Yeah. Oh right. Okay. I, I do you not know, put it on all of your lips. Oh, you do. Yeah, that's what. I'm... No, you put a lip liner on all of your lips. Do you not know, put a lippy lip stick on? I do, but I use that as a kind of complementary, like to give me a bit of moisture, because lip, um, obviously pencils are quite dry. Okay, that's but, more, but, that, but that's um, why, matte. but that's why it stays on all day. Right, this is the scientific approach to uh, putting on your slap, because what we've got here is we're learning about the base layers, we're learning about the foundations, the reflectivity, making sure we get up. Darling, this is all the same principles for any tech. Well done. And you've got the dry liner, but a whole lip. I've got a high, you see. Yeah, 
Then I use, um, I mean, I've got a, a Chanel one actually. You I have got looking, a look. You know, you're looking really gorgeous, and I'm going to start getting frisky soon. Uh, I'm just using a little, and I'm ignoring you. And yeah, no, I know you're genuinely quite scared. Mm -hmm. My beautiful girl. Oh. do my um, before I do my uh, blusher I'm just going to use this this is where I always need a little bit of extra coverage for me a little bit there a little bit here just on the there we go then take my other brush so I've got my little bit of extra coverage I'm going to smile because you always want to put it sort of like on the apple <laughs> yeah so just for doing it again like oh hold on I gotta come don't move I gotta get in that don't, don't move for a second I gotta get in that mirror to get you in that right spot now do me smile and show me the apple <laughs> but I thought well, this is where I want I don't I don't need a lot of blusher but I should quite like it if you go beyond the apple yeah which is this bit here you end up like having a really um pink nose <laughs> and so tell, you, tell it again for, i was in the wrong picture the show me that bit again so i was watching you instead of practically filming you so tell me um you smile and do your apple and mm. and you can choose where you do apple i try and do it sort of near as i've got a little bit of um uh, cheekbone but if you go too close to you you sort of get a very pink or brown or bronze and you don't want it so it's always got to be your apple Outwards. Never heard that phrase before. First time I'd heard it, but you were putting some of that on your apple. Okay. But go. it's nice because what it does is it breaks up the flatness, and I like to have a little rosy cheek. Even though I've got rosy cheeks, I like to have a rosy cheek in After you've done place. your makeup. Yes, yes that uh, makes sense. Right, okay. So, apart from a quick sort of powder at the end, I would say I'm done for my makeup. Okay. Hold on. Uh, no, let, let, let's let's, let, let, let's um, turn yourself around to the light. Can you have that there? Can we come in this because this is um. Oops, I'm in the shot. There. That's the last thing I'm just going to give a shot. Okay. Um. That is look to begin with, and you see that that look at the, the thing is the thing that gets me all the time is my girl's eyes smiling. It's this smile. Right. Now I wish I could do. I love you. I right. love you. Not that I love you too, don't you? Maybe we should just take a berry on and go out for our date now. <laughs> You've got to do your hair. I've got to do my hair really quick. I've got to do my hair really quick. I would love to have just gone like, hold on. Let me just do that. I know you, I know this as well. Um, I'd love to sort of go like this and kind of go, but my hair is so over-processed. <laughs> right, I'm going to just give you a couple of... Um, tips for hair okay first of all it's all about getting the right pins these cost like 12 quid on the internet like a little hair, hair tool that will give yourself different different grips and these kind of grips um, are afterwards to sort of create shape whereas these sort of curvy grips um, are to sort of make sure that your your hair doesn't sort of move out when you when you clip it different sort of um they've got different uses but you need to get yourself a variety you know this is just great storage we used to have these in our kits all the time so so i've already got i don't need to use a lot now what i'm gonna do here is not have many tools i've got my brush which is a bristle brush which means that the bristles come out from the brush which means that you smooth your hair when you brush it and i'm going to use a towel comb Okay, and that is pretty much all I'm going to do. Now, I cannot do this without sort of looking in a mirror, I'm afraid. Although I probably could if you actually give me a challenge. So, first of all, I'm going to create my, um, my parting. Okay, and while I'm there, I use a little bit of putty. So I've had this for forever. I was zoomed in to be a little bit, sorry. Right, little no, potty, a pot of putty. Little pot of putty, which I like to have. Stop flying away, stop. Hmm? And just create that little bit. Now, I don't 
this is my hairstyle I don't set it and the reason is is that I've never got time to set it properly now to get the perfect barrel you would kind of put it around a tong but I don't have time for that so I try and use a little bit of sort of what I'm doing to create a little bit of a barrel now I always have one at the front which you see yeah and it's just brushing it with my bristle brush to kind of get that loveliness wrapping it around my finger like that and sort of coming down and just moving my fingers out yeah then I take my Kirby grip you use one of these I'm going to put that into place I'll see it after you've done it okay turn around let me see it oh you can't see the Kirby grip yeah, I've just tucked it in. Tucked in, tucked yeah. in turbo grip, turbo grip. Okay, so, all right, now this should be quite quick. All right, so I've got my first little roll at the front. Now, I can do it all at the end, or you can sort of just put a little bit of, a little bit of hairspray. I use all sorts. I love Elnet, I love the smell of Elnet. Um, but this glued one is really good because Elnet is fine until you sort of go out in the wind <laughs> and then it's not fine. So I just use the glue because it, it really sort of keeps it in, in shape. Now, this is the bit that is, I guess, a little bit different. I am going to create myself a little um, line. And that's going to be my victory. You have, to, you have to give me a clue where you're, which 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 I'm working on here because this is to me is all mystery. Oh, okay. Here's my line. Yeah, yeah, we're coming on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got a line. Yeah, yes. I'm just gonna put that into place there. Okay. Now get my little bit of a uh, putty. I like this putty, and all it does is I think it gives me personally a little bit of volume. Now. Because your hair is washed and quite sort of. Yeah, so get my Kirby grip ready because you don't want to be in place and then sort of saying, oh, I need my Kirby grip. So, and I'm going to come up because this is my victory roll. Do you know how, whether you, I bet you do, do you know how victory rolls sort of were invented? I assume for the Second World War. Yeah. The Second World War. You did know that, didn't you? No, I just made that up. It was all the ladies. Roll for victory. Yeah, yeah. it was. But right, so I twist it around my fingers, yeah, like that. So this is how quick it is because, you know, obviously doing this live, and I roll it into place. Now, so there, where my finger is, is obviously where I need my grip. Yeah, well, don't worry, we'll do, your finger where your finger is. All right, well done there. Uh, there, I'm gonna get my curvy grip. Okay, and I'm going to put that into place. Okay. There we go. Turn around, see it from the front. No, hold on, go in there. Okay, you can. Good. Yep, there we go. So that's that's one in. Now, I sort of smooth. Smooth before you've got all your hairspray in. <laughs> because... Well, it has to have been stuck. But once you put your hairspray in, it's much harder and also it can go a little bit crispier. All right. Now, I'm going to do the same on the other side. But I've got a little bit of hair. This is just my style that I want to come across here. I want to save for later. So I'm going to, <laughs> I know what I mean by that. Now I'm going to just pull that up and then go into, I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> bum, ba, da, ba. I'm going to wrap it up down here for later. I want it out the way because if I, if I don't, um, have it it will get caught up in my other victory roll that I'm going to do on the other that's side. Just, that's just a tuck away. Hmm? That's just a tuck away to come back later. That's what I am going to do though now. I've got that one in. I'm going to put a tiny bit, not too much, just a tiny bit so I don't knock it. Okay. Now I'm going to do my other victory roll. Get your, uh... When you do a set you always want to make... Oh, so hey Tyler. I can't handle the glue from your things. I've got glue, I got glue in my hand from touching over here. This is one of the. Oh, <laughs> I've never used it this close. Hmm? No, you'll be going. Oh, how long are you going to be? Is that true or what? No, you never do. 
No, I just I do I, I just, do ask. I just thought it was funny to say it. I do ask because it's a mystery to me. Okay. But this stage, I'm out of the shower, by the way, and changed just in case you thought I was diddling in the background. Love, I love my um my brush. Right, I've got my Kirby because if you don't, don't have it, love. if you don't have the one that you want to put in, yeah. You see, if you don't have that one tucked away as well up here, it sort of gets in a way. So wrap it around my fingers. I'm going to bring this one up. Okay, sort of same as I did on the other side. Get my Kirby. And I'm going to put that into place like so. Right, and how does this stay in for? Because you have it, you have it in some all day. day. I mean, all day, properly yeah. all day, as you know. Mm -hmm. Right, but you're overnight sometimes, don't you? But that's just um, yeah, but no, not, not very, not very successfully. I have to say, I don't overnight as well. It, it's easier to brush through when you do when you do it, and. I think the thing is, I lots I've watched a lot of tutorials over the time, yeah, and the, everyone has their own system, their own kind of method um, of what works for them, you know, because everyone's got different colour hair, different lengths of hair, different sort of thicknesses, you know. There's so much variety. You have to work out a style that you like, and then sort of practice it over to time because I actually could be ready from start to finish with shower and hours everything within an hour you've seen me do it and sometimes I like to take my time as well you know it really it sort of depends right now I've got those in place I'm gonna sort of give this one a little bit more love that's the that, that's tucked away that's one not, the yeah that's a tucked away one and sort of depending on how my hair has gone for the day I kind of either sort of have it here or you know, I sort of see where I'm going to go with it, and I am going to go here. Okay, now there we go. So, okay, so I've got my my So right now, this is Amanda taught me this from Lipstick and Curls. This is just for me the best trick ever because doing the back of the hair is always difficult and you know you could curl it or do whatever but i personally love this and i love my hair being out of my face as you know especially when i'm working so i just take a little band it can be anything if it matches your hair great if it's a little elastic band whatever and i take up i take the back of my hair ponytail now if you've got lovely sort of long hair thick hair you might want to just have a lovely ponytail with this stuff or a few flowers in boom you're done but i don't love my hair because it's over processed and that's just who i am um so i da -da. and it's much easier than trying to put curvies in as well at the back of your hair and i'm just going to sort of smooth it a little bit Darling, I would say go and get your shoes on if we was. I wouldn't because I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> okay, time me, time me. Okay, time you. Here we go. Right. What I what I do like to do at this point is I like to make sure I've got my joints joined, yeah. And also, I'm going to put a little bit of this hair glow coconut oil. It's from um, a vintage store, but you know I'm sure there's lots of them around. takes away the fluffiness because there we go it's tight here okay. see that join there we've well, just got to make sure that's quite smooth all right I'm just going to see what it looks like you can always never be too sure right that's fine Got a little bit of hair dye on my ears, but that's just because I've dyed my hair. Okay, right, so that's fine. 
What are you doing with your ponytail? So what I'm going to do with my ponytail now, I could either curl it if I wanted to, but I'm going to divide it into three and finish off this particular look. So give it a little brush out, lovely. Then get my three and I use the same technique, just wrapping it around my fingers. Yeah, and I'm going to join this particular one here. Quick look. Welcome to the camera mode. Didn't even see what you did there. That was pretty quick. Let me just, oh, you put a little. Yeah, put my little curvy in. Speed you wrap it around your fingers to get done is quite quick, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, two. You know, and Kirby's come in all sorts of kind of, you know, colours and, as I say, strengths. I always end up coming back to that one, but that's fine. Then I'm going to do a big one. I could actually, if I wanted to, divide this into more pieces. And I could, you know, and I'm gonna. But you also, when you do this, you this isn't the finish of your hair. Cause you're, you're flowers that you've had in your hair since I first met you. Yeah, exactly. I am gonna put some flowers in as well. And the flowers, apart from that, I think they look lovely, and I love an orchid. Um, cover over the joins. If you think of upholstery when you put the braiding on, you know, there's always that that little kind of bit. But now I'm going to just smooth. Smooth, smooth, put it into place. Yeah, and when you put your, your hairspray on, don't brush it in because all that will do, or don't comb it in, and it's a mistake loads of people have made. They put the thing on and then they brush it and you just get the, the grooves of the, of the brush. So that's why whenever you see me do it uh, at this stage, I'm just doing it with my, my hand. All those little flyaways. Right. Being stuck on with your spray glue. Yeah, and, and just because of the type of hair we've got, and it's fine for a lot of people will know this, I get a little bit in my hand. I just do a little bit here. Right. Okay. Just checking the back. That's fine. This is the stage when I would be saying that's going to move on, and you will never rush this last bit because this last bit is the bit that just finishes, isn't it? Yeah. Get your fingers on. Okay. Right, I have had these for a long time, these particular flowers, but I've got a whole box of flowers. I've just never found one similar to the, <laughs> these before. And then, <laughs> you know what, they, they have actually seen better days, but there is something about the, the finish of these flowers that I like and where I've bought loads and loads of flowers. They're either too big or they look so kind of horrible and artificial. So I just finished off my joins. Is this a good way to do it? Anyway, you want darling? I'm yeah, well, I need to be able to see. I do well, need yeah, to see you have this to bit. To do it. Yeah, so, so obviously yeah. here, I've got a little join. I'll do that there and I just make sure I just tuck that under okay you don't want to cover up too much of the um the hair curly bits of the uh, yeah of the design you're okay. gonna put them on down and you'll see the finished product that's the way yeah it's gonna okay and this one here sort of goes there that's nice also covers over the, the like the little um your little bobble whatever you use so this one here, because I like to try and create a little bit of height, I always put one here. Is that because you're five foot two and three quarters? Yeah. Um, where else am I going to put one today? Um, and it does, and it sort of varies, like where I put them, to how well my well my hair has gone. So, actually, I think I'm good on that side. Don't need one there. That's good. Oh. The decision's made, you've not been on it all yours, do you? No, I don't know. Hmm? Mm, I would just go for less is more. Really? Okay. 
All right, so I've done three flowers today, um, but I'm going to just smooth this off a little bit more. So it feels really nice. And let's see the finish. You know, take that time, get the wispy ones in. This is where I'm usually really sitting watching you now, wondering what, why she's moved those two hairs to the left, not one to the right, because it looked okay from where I was. Isn't that right, beautiful girl? And I've also learned now that you don't try and rush this last bit. There we are. Ta da! Legend, right, right, okay, so it's just for me. That's, that's not, that's if very, you don't. Just rotate for me very slowly. Oh, you moved into the light there, everyone. That's good. They keep going, oh, the hair's in there, the makeup's done. My girl's ready to party. I am. I'm ready to go on a date. But if you, if you are with us, well done. <laughs> that was. <laughs> How, have a lovely evening. You know, I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm going to snog you and splodge your, your, your lipstick all over your face. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Lovely seeing you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You're a gorgeous girl. <laughs>